What up, Fish Tank TV? Fish Tank people. Just did a water change with my 90 gallon, and God, I was here Friday, and there was a patch of ram eggs there, but now they're gone. Um, I'm not sure what happened. Could be a lot of things, but pretty excited that they bred. So hopefully they will continue to do so. So I just today was the first day that I started. This tank is uh, self-made, by the way, too. Came with the tank. But um, start dosing equilibrium. So because I need to raise the general. But for the fish too. Uh, BC water in the lower mainland is really soft and acidic, so it's a necessity. I added three half half cut, if whatever you call it, if you will, terracotta pots, and there's one right here. One back there. That's where the my SAE likes to be. Move this little ceramic cave that I bought. Excuse me. It used to be over. Used to be over here. But now, um, check out that cockatoys. I don't know why this is not focusing. But uh, I don't know. That one likes to stay there. Um. I put another cave in there. You can't really see, but it's hidden back there. Just right there. And, uh, yeah. Check out all these shrimps over here. They like to chill here. That's the smallest cockatoities I got. But, uh, I really wanted to show you guys the eggs, because that's the first time that I ever got rams to breed. And I didn't really do anything, you know? They just did it naturally. That's pretty much it. Oh, I want to show you. The crypt's grown really slow, but I shouldn't move that hydrophilia, but it's right there. And I also got some runners. There's one right there. And there's shot off another runner that I got from one of these plants. Those plants are really cool, but I don't know what the names are. It's almost like a mini sword, you know? Oh, here's the, the male cockatoys. Oh, excuse me, that's just another female. The male, I saw the, oh, if I wish I got on video, I saw the male and the, the rams fighting. It's pretty epic. But, yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm about to feed them blood worms because they, they get it after every every water change you can kind of see the male ram in there he likes to hide out I'll, I'll bring him out though there's the male male cockatoities this looks so freaking mean and badass this is my tiger lotus just look at it it's awesome about to feed him, I'll feed him right now. Yeah, but the, after a while, when they get used to the, the hardness level, they're going to get more nutrients, and their, their colors are just going to pop. They're just going to be healthier. That was just a problem that I've always had. So, I'm going to use these tongs so I can get them down there without the Tetris. Picking at it. But he knows. He knows I'm going to be feeding. He just knows. I like to feed to these guys. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to dump the rest. For a second. Just hold on, set this down. Hopefully, it doesn't fall in. Looks kind of cool. Yeah. 
And I'm going to dump it to the other cockatoities and the ram. Just so they can get their fair share. Because they really, they're the ones that really are the star in my tank. That's the cool thing about having quarries. You, you can make a big mess and... As you guys all know, they'll find it sooner or later. Same with the shrimp. And let's just try to bring out the male. There he is. He's my favorite. It's because I love rams. I could care less about any other fish. Actually, I like them all. Even my SAE. I'm gonna dump the rest. Even my SAE loves these blood worms. All of them do. Let you guys watch for a bit. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you guys haven't and rate my video. Catch you guys next week.